After the coagulant is added and coagulation takes place, or charge neutralization takes place, flocculation is the next step in the conventional treatment process. During the flocculation process, smaller particles called microfloc collide with one another and agglomerate into larger. The speed at which this flocculation occurs is directly related to the rate of particle collisions. More mixing energy results in more collisions per second and therefore flocculation occurs more rapidly. And as the flock increases in its size, it becomes more fragile. Therefore, the mixing energy should be reduced as the flock progresses toward the sedimentation basin. So here we have uh, two types of mechanical flocculators. We've got the horizontal paddle wheel and the water just moves through uh, from end to end and these paddle wheels just move in a horizontal fashion to cause gentle mixing. And the water flows through the flocculation basins at a flow velocity of 0.5 to 1.5 feet per minute. So we want this water to move through very slowly with varied mixing energy in each of the three chambers. The vertical paddle wheel, uh, basically the paddles are vertical and it just rotates gently to provide the mixing energy and the water moves from one side to the other. Again, at a flow velocity of 0.5 to 1.5 feet per minute. Another type of flocculator is the turbine flocculator, which could be a propeller or a turbine, but it basically just creates uh, turbulence so that you've got this circular or circulating flow so that the particles can collide with one another and agglomerate together. And again, all of these flocculators uh, can be adjusted as far as the, the amount of mixing energy that they provide to the particular basin that they're in. Get some operator actions if there's a change in the flocculation process results. The operator needs to evaluate the flock for its size and its strength. And this is uh, primarily a visual inspection. You know, is the flock tight and, and is it large or is it pin flock? You know, pin flock is not good for settling. You want large, tight flock. Um, the operator should evaluate the overall performance and perform a jar test if required and then make appropriate changes and then verify that the plant responded how he or she expected. And what are these potential process changes that the operator can make? The operator could change the coagulant change the coagulant dose, adjust the flocculator mixing intensity, uh, add a coagulant or filter aid, and adjust alkalinity or pH.